how to fix Fortnite unable to complete sign in try again later. If you're facing this problem with your Epic Games launcher and not able to sign in, here is a video and I'll show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. The first and foremost thing what you need to do is, since you're having this issue with your network, it may be that the issue is with your internet service provider. So just change the network. What does it mean? If you're using a LAN connection, change it to your mobile hotspot, connect it to your laptop or your PC and then try to sign up with your Epic Games launcher, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is, you have to come out in the search bar over here and type in run. And over here, I'm going to type this command, which is percentage T E M P percentage hit OK. And once you're in app data, you have to double click and open local, find Epic Games Launcher. And over here, we'll go to saved web cache. And these are all the cache files which are not required. So you can just select everything and permanently delete them. Once you have deleted, then open your Epic Games Launcher and then try to sign up, see if the problem is fixed. Next up, what you have to do is if you're unable to sign in in your Epic Games account, now this is a very uh, strange kind of fix which I have found out. What exactly you have to do is when you type your password and click on login and it, it is showing that particular error, you first just click on the forget your password once. And once you have clicked on this one, you don't have to put any email ID or anything like that. You just go back to sign in one more time. Now you try to sign in, see if that helps. But this is a very strange kind of issue and it worked for me when I was having this problem. So just click on forget your password and go back to sign up and then try to put your password and click on sign in or login and you will see your problem is going to be fixed. The last step would be to changing your DNS server manually. For this, what you have to do is first and foremost, you have to go to the corner of your screen and on the network, you have to right click and click on open network and internet settings. Over here, you have to click on change adapter options and this window will come up. From here, you have to choose whichever network you're using. I'm currently using Wi-Fi, so I'm going to choose it. Right click, go to properties. And over here, this small window, here you have to choose internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IP version 4. Go to properties and here set that obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to tick the bottom one, which is use the following DNS server address. And I will recommend you using the Google DNS server, which is 8888-8844. This is Google's public DNS server. If you want a better one, which is even more stable than that, you can use that also, which is the Cloudflare DNS server, which is 11111001. So you just need to press OK and then restart your computer and see if that fixes your problem. So those were the steps in order to fix this problem. If you're still having the issue or you're getting a new issue after you have done this, you can put that issue in the comment section. If you want to directly contact me, you can go ahead to my Twitter, put a screenshot of the area you're facing and don't forget to tag me. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.